Chairman, do we have a time, do we have a guarantee that Director Cheadle will show up and answer questions uh, by members? Unfortunately, we don't have a guarantee, and I can tell you in the numerous times that we have asked or subpoenaed members of President Biden's administration, a lot of times they, they just don't show up or they find another thing to do. But let me tell you, we are determined to get to the bottom of this breach with the Secret Service. It's absolutely unacceptable that there was the ability for someone to be on top of a roof within 130 yards of the president. And what was her first comment? She said that it was a safety risk because of a 40 degree slope in a roof. I mean, I think more roofs are sloped than, than they are flat. So it, it's kind of ridiculous. I think anyone can walk on a 40 degree slope on a roof. And, and the p police snipers on the rooftop of a different building had a sloped roof. So uh, interesting that that would be the reason why there weren't snipers on that particular rooftop that the gunman was on. But a new report here reveals that the Secret Service had to increase security around Trump following an alleged plot by Iran to assassinate him. What are you hoping that the House uncovers on this hearing on Monday? What sort of answers are you looking to get? There's numerous things that we need answered, but we need to know why they believed that uh, that should not have been included in the perimeter in guarding the president. In, in fact, we've asked, or we haven't asked, the Trump team has asked for enhanced security um, for a long time, and they have been denied that. We need to know why were they denied. Donald Trump is just not any normal presidential candidate. He's the former president of the United States. We haven't seen anything like this in, in nearly, well, actually over a hundred years. And so there's a lot of concerns of like, why was there a breach in security? And, and we need to get answers, but also there needs to be actions for people's bad behavior. Sure. Um, the Secret Service, though, saying they, they provided all the resources um, that had been asked of them. I know that there will be additional questions about that. And you know, Congressman, you, you think about when s some of these directors come to testify, um, the, an easy throwaway line is that there's an active investigation and they won't be able to answer your question here. Um, are you hopeful that we'll actually uh, get some clear answers despite the ongoing investigation? We absolutely better. It's unacceptable of what happened. We almost um, saw the assassination of Donald Trump, and it was it was something that could have been so easily prevented. And when you watch the other videos on social media, whether they're true or not, we're going to find out. But it is very, very disturbing if, in fact, there was minutes before that happened and the Secret Service did not take him off the stage before that shooter started. Yeah, absolutely. The attempt on the former president's life obviously took many people off guard. His daughter-in-law, the RNC co-chair, Lara Trump, she spoke about it in her speech at the Republican convention last night. Let's play that. Our family has faced our fair share of death threats, mysterious powders sent to our homes, tasteless and violent comments directed towards us on social media. But none of that prepares you as a daughter-in-law to watch in real time someone try to kill a person you love. None of that prepares you as a mother to quickly reach for the remote and turn your young children away from the screen. Yeah, such a, a heartfelt message there. I mean, clearly this impacted the entire family. Um, but I mean, with the politics aside, people have to remember that there are families involved. You know, it's a divided country. We might not see eye to eye on policy, but at the end of the day, these are people here, and I think we got to remember that, right? That's exactly right. Laura, Laura Trump did a, an amazing job last night um, looking into more than just a political figure of exactly who Donald Trump is. But Melania, uh, the, the former first lady, wrote an amazing letter the day afterwards um, talking about how Donald Trump is a father a husband, an individual who loves music, real person. But a lot of times, whenever a lot of unfortunate rhetoric gets started, such as what Joe Biden's been saying is, is Donald Trump will be the end of democracy, it creates fear in these nut jobs who decide to climb roofs and, and try to kill a person.